The suspect in this case, an employee of a large Boston banking firm, is charged with four violent attacks. And we've learned this case is far from over. It's horrifying, but we still have to prove it in court. 42-year-old Ivan Chung remained in a holding cell while prosecutors made their case to a judge to keep him behind bars on $1 million bail on charges in connection with four rapes dating back to 2003. Two of the victims were young teens, two were adults. In each attack, investigators say there were links, a similar suspect description, picking up women walking alone in Boston, brandishing a knife, holding it to the victim's throat prior to the sexual assaults, threats to kill the victim, raping them in the back of his vehicle, and cutting or stabbing them afterwards. The adults each underwent a sexual assault examination, but there was no link to a suspect until the new Boston Police Sexual Assault Kit Initiative team took a closer look at the cases. The DNA match between two of the cases existed pretty soon after they occurred. Um, what came later after investigation was what we allege is a match to this defendant. That match came this summer when investigators watching Chung near the South Bay Plaza saw him toss a cigarette butt onto the ground. It matched the DNA in the cases with the two adult victims. Chung's attorney entered a not guilty plea on his client's behalf and said only this outside of court. This case presents um, complicated factual, legal and uh, forensic challenges. Um, and we're going to be prepared to aggressively meet all of those. Now, Chung works for State Street Bank, and the bank tells us he has been suspended pending further investigation.